Hi, I'm Alonzo. I'm going to show you how to set up your Model 3 to store recordings of your dash cam in sentry mode. To make this work, you'll need a USB compatible external storage device. Here I have a solid state external hard drive and a hard drive enclosure with a USB port. I will put links to the ones I use in the description. This enclosure allows you to just plug in the hard drive. Make sure to line up the connectors on the hard drive with the connectors on the enclosure. They are built where you cannot plug it in the wrong way. Make sure it seats all of the way and then slide the enclosure top into place until it snaps closed. Next, insert the USB cable into the enclosure. You may want to keep the cable looped up somewhat with the zip tie to save space in the car. Next, you will need to format the drive and create a folder so the Model 3 will know where to store the videos. I'm using a free version of Mini Tool Partition Wizard. I'll put a link in the description. Plug your drive into a USB port on a computer and switch on the power switch. Open Mini Tool or another partitioning application. Click Create Partition. Select your external hard drive. Next, set the drive letter and give your partition a name. I named it Nerve, as you can see. You also select that you want to format it to the FAT32 format. Click Apply and it will create your partition. Next, open your drive in a file explorer. Then create a new folder called Tesla Cam. Next, remove the drive by right-clicking the arrow at the bottom of the screen and right-clicking the thumb drive icon. Select the eject option for your drive. Next, we need to insert the drive into the Model 3. You currently have to use one of the front two USB ports. Unplug one of your USB cords and plug in the external hard drive. Switch on the power to the drive. Once the Model 3 recognizes the drive, it will begin using it for recordings. You can turn sentry mode on and off by pressing the little camera lens icon on the top right of the 
model free screen. If you press the camera icon, it will store the last 10 minutes of the front camera video. Let's see what happens when sentry mode is triggered. Here I walk around the car and try to open the door without the key activated. In order to see the videos, you currently have to remove the external drive and view the videos outside the car. You can see here, it picked me up walking toward the car with the right repeater camera, then with the front camera, and finally with the left repeater camera. When sentry mode is activated, the screen shows that it is recording to help deter people. Here's a shot of that that is easier to pick up with the camera. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.